The city ordinance makes Denver more immigrant friendly and may even keep some people from being deported. The mayor signed it into law today. CBS 4's Melissa Garcia checking in from the Denver jail. Melissa, sounds like the new law also means changes for citizens. And Jim, a big part of the law, or the changes rather, has to do with how much time lawbreakers spend here behind bars. Before, you could get the same amount of time for, say, blocking the sidewalk as for beating up your spouse. Well, now the new ordinance makes the time fit the crime. Thank you very much. With his signature, Denver Mayor Michael Hancock turned Council Bill 0513 into city law. Finally, we have the city of Denver telling us, immigrants and refugees, that we are welcome in the city and that we shouldn't be afraid. The new ordinance comes in the wake of what Hancock calls reckless executive orders recently issued by the White House. We're going to keep working toward actions that keep Denver a welcoming, open and safe city for everyone, including the folks who happen to live in our city who are immigrants. The law enhances the punishment for crimes motivated by hate, something city attorney Kristen Bronson says Denver's immigrant communities have seen a rise in. Harassment in the workplace, um, harassment over social media. We are really hoping to send a message to those that seek to target uh, our vulnerable communities and our immigrant communities uh, for harassment um, that it won't be tolerated here. The ordinance also changes the city's sentencing structure. Before, all municipal violations were lumped into one category, all punishable by up to 365 days. New law differentiates between minor, mid-level and violent crimes, preventing low-level offenders from being flagged by ICE. If they get deported and the kids are here, they don't want to lose their kids. And that's horrifying to think that you as a parent cannot even protect your kids. And the new ordinance works hand in hand with the city's new plea by mail program that allows people, including those who fear deportation, to take care of their traffic tickets without appearing in court. Live in Denver, Melissa Garcia, CBS 4 News.